What's going on everyone? It's Adam here from Adam's Nintendo World and GamesReviews.com with another episode of Mario Golf Super Rush Adventure Mode on Nintendo Switch. On the last episode, we finished up here in Ridge Rock Lake. We won the Invitational Tournament and upgraded our badge as well as took on the, um, the Master who taught us a, a couple things about using special shots. On this episode, we're heading over to Balmy Dunes and apparently in the top right hand corner, we are going to give speed golf a try. So let's head over to Balmy Dunes and see what we can do over here about learning about some speed golf, which I mean, I've already played, so I know what's going on. Yeah. Quick shout out to our Patreon supporters, Carmelo, Gladiator, Andrew, Shisnitz, Kyrie, Lexus, Holly, Marge, Taylor, Amira, and Ada. Thank you so much for your donations to the channel, guys. It's greatly appreciated. Okay, let's head into Balmy Dunes and see what we can do. Okay, looks like we need to head over to the little toad here to get ourselves registered for some speed golf. Hey there, Adam. Your bronze badge doesn't qualify for standard golf here, but speed golf is open to you. Do note that our local rules are a bit different than usual, though. If you want to give it a try, how about a practice round? Great, you're registered for a three-hole practice round. Head over to the first tee when you're ready. All right, let's head over to right here, and we will definitely give this one a go. Here's how speed golf works at Balmy Dunes. Folks here in the desert love seeing how fast they can play while staying hydrated only from water they carry along. But with the heat wave going on, if you're going out of there too long, we've got to pull you off the course for safety reasons. You've got to prove you can get to the oasis fast enough. If not, practice rounds only. To get a feel for how we run at Balmy Dunes, why don't you take a small water bottle and play three holes for starters. Did I hear that right? You need a water bottle for some practice? Here, I got you. You got a mini water bottle. The bottle is just the right size for three holes, but if you run out, it's game over. So keep an eye on it. Ooh. So this looks like it's even slightly different than speed golf in standard mode. Like if you're just playing standard golf on Mario Golf Super Rush, this feels a lot different. So this will be interesting. All right, here's hole one. Your water will slowly deplete over time. If you run out of water, you'll pass out. Interesting. Ready? So we got 50% water. All right. Here we go, I guess. <laughs> I'm interested to see how this goes. All right, that's a nice, that's a nice bomb off the key. All right, let's run. Does this deplete my water faster? I can't imagine. I think we're just racing. So I think the water is essentially just our clock. Does that sound right? Okay, I think the water is just our clock. But, oh no, our first tee shot went into the, oh, it went into the rough. I thought it went into the sand, and I was about to say that's pretty terrible. Okay, let's see if this will get us to the hole. Let's get at it. I don't want to run through that, because I don't know what will happen. Are we on? Ugh, we rolled off the back end. <laughs> Alright, let's get this chipped on. Let's get it putted in. We're at 41%. And like I said, or like they told us, we have to complete three holes. All right, let's uh, try to sink this birdie putt. Yes. Okay. Oh, oh we got a bogey. Wasn't even a birdie putt. Wasn't even a par putt. It was a bogey. <laughs> okay, so that took us 11% to finish. And we still have two more holes to go. Oh, a par three and a par four. Okay, so this one's a par three. So it's not as should not be as difficult. Let's see if we can't get this on the green. Nice shot. I'm loving the look of this course. Uh, I've played this in single player and for whatever reason it feels a lot different. Um, it feels a lot different here. <laughs> I love this little path down to the green. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant. 
unfortunately, our ball has rolled off the back end. So we're going to have to gather this up and see if we can't pitch one on. That's a nice chip, actually. Oh, this was a mistake, though. That was a mistake. Come back! Oh, man. Where's the ball? There we go. Tap it. Okay, that's two holes done. Nice we have 30% water left, so that's not too bad. Yeah, we got a par. Okay, 8% to do that. We have one hole left for this little mini tournament. This quali- or this practice round. Ready? Alright, um... I mean, I don't... This seems really dangerous to bomb it through these trees. Uh, but you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. Was it a mistake? Uh, no. Looks like we're gonna be okay. Gather up these coins on the way. And here we go. And, uh, oh man. This is a difficult course just because of how, like, the, the fairway's, like, all over the place. Which is okay. Makes it more interesting. But, how did our shot go here? I don't even know. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good shot. Okay. Let's try to put this puppy on the green. I'm wondering, though, if I should take the bridge. Oh, jeez. Okay, you really need to be careful with those speed dashes because uh, nice they can go south on you really quickly. Gathering up a lot of coins, though, which is pretty good. Uh, we got some time. Let's grab these coins as we go. And then let's try to sink this putt and then... Um, That'll be it for our practice round. Birdie. Hopefully we can take on a qualifying round. Okay. Nice. Ooh, just too much juice. Too much juice. How about this though? There we go. Perfect. Nice. All right. I think that's the practice round down. And uh, we still had like 25%, 17% of our water left. So, I mean, that's pretty good. Okay, back to Balmy Dunes. After we get some experience points, what should we upgrade? I think I'm gonna continue, I'm gonna upgrade my speed. I'm, I'm fairly happy with the distance of my drives. 226, could be longer and we will make it longer. Um, yeah, let's lock in those stat changes. Okay, um, we should go to the shop here in Balmy Dunes and see what equipment they have. Now that I'm seeing them talk about special clubs. Hey, you did a nice work mas massaging your water supply. Managing, not massaging. Managing your water supply. You're ready for nine holes. Just visit the desk when you feel like giving it a try. Okay, we are going to give it a try, but we are first going to find the store. And that looks like it's right here. Welcome, on anything you want to buy. Yeah. Hit low trajectory shots that can bounce out of bunkers. His shots are less susceptible to winds, but harder to control. And Pokey Sandwich increases control in bunkers. I like that one. Thank you. Uh, reduces water loss. Yes, please. Uh, reduces speed loss in bunkers and quicksand. Yes, please. Uh, okay. So now we need to go into our start menu, head over to our equipment, and let's go to our wedges. And right now we're using the, um, we want to put this one and we want to put that one back. Yes, and then we want to go to our tire. Obviously, we want to reduce water loss, and we're going to wear the desert shoes. It just makes sense to buy the equipment at each area. Like, it's not like, yes, it's optional, but I mean, it's not really optional. <laughs> Bu buy the stuff. <laughs> just buy the stuff. You'll be happy you did. All right, we're all set. We tee off at dawn. It's way too hot and later in the day. Feel free to rest up in the lounge until it's time to play. Okay. Uh, so this is the lounge. So this is where I have a problem with the Mario Golf Adventure mode. It's it's the areas are so beautiful. They look amazing, but they're not. There's not enough going on. It's like it's it feels empty. There's NPCs, but they don't do anything. No one's moving around. Another uh, around here, speed golf training involves completing nine holes before you run out of water. No refills out. If you're underwater, that's the end of the round, so keep a close eye on it, of course. A member of our staff will always be close at hand. If you're running into trouble, you'll be safe. But there's nothing worse than running out of water partway through a great round. So you do your do your best to manage your water carefully. I think that's it. Go ahead, make your way to the tee. All right, guys, let's do uh, nine holes here at Balmy Dunes. I like this course. I've enjoyed the adventure mode for the most part. It's been an interesting way to look at each of the courses. 
we did regular golf in Bonnie uh, Bonnie Greens uh, at Ridge Rock Lake. We did cross country golf, which was uh, interesting. And then um, here we're doing speed golf, which is a lot of fun. So it's been it's been a good ride. I've enjoyed it so far. But let's see now if we can beat Tim. That'll be the question. Question of the day: Can we beat Tim? <laughs> I think so. Although look at him go. You better not get too cocky. His toad looks like he's not messing around. His ball's right there. We outdrove him. But uh, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. That's what I've learned. Oh, and we rolled into the into the bunker. Thanks, pal. All right. Let's just see if we can land this one on the green. He is beating me. So this is not really speed golf. That's what I'm learning here. Um, I mean, it is. Because you're racing against the water clock. But not speed golf in terms of what we saw like in the trailers and stuff like that. It's not the same as that. That might be way too much juice. Yes. That was too much juice. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh. Okay. We used 5% of our water, and uh, we got a boat on the first hole. So this is speed golf, and we're losing by two seconds. Okay, so this is traditional speed golf. I wasn't sure if it was or not. All right, we're going to try to land this bad boy on the green. And we've got wind with us, and we're using a driver. So that ball's going to run. Once it hits the ground, it's going to run. So I'm going to try something here. And I might regret it, but... We're going for it. <laughs> it's all about the speed here, guys. And I think I beat Toad, but I do have to run a lot farther to get to my ball. So I didn't actually make up that much time. But let's see if we can't put this thing in. Oh, come on! Toad is killing us, guys. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Nice All right, we sunk a par, um, but we're losing to Toad. Uh, we are now nine seconds behind, so we lost another seven seconds. Ready? And here's where I'm worried that it's going to take quite a bit of time to actually... Um, I'm worried it's going to take a lot to, to beat Toad at this point, considering we're already seven seconds behind. Um... But I'm going to focus on the round, and I'm going to focus less on everything else that's going on. Okay, so I'm doing a shortcut here. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, my goodness. This might just end up being a practice round. <laughs> because it's not looking good for me. But we do have those shoes that reduces our... Um, nice oh, that was actually not a bad shot, though. See, we're putting Three. as opposed to him chipping, so it's actually not terrible. If we can take our time here and actually manage a good shot. Yeah. Oh, dang. Dang, 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 dang. dang. Okay, nice so hopefully we did less shots than he did, because then maybe we can make up some time. We're down to 89%. We're going to have no problem with the water. The water is not going to be the issue here. The issue is going to be whether we can beat Toad. Uh, and we're still losing now by 10 seconds. Oh, man. And we only get nine holes, remember, so we re I really need to step up. I really need to step up. But let's see. Let's see if we can have a better round this round. See, whether you outdrive somebody in speed golf, actually, you'll find out doesn't matter because we have been outdriving Toad on every hole and we're still losing.
This nice. could be my hole to catch up though, because I'm on the green. Uh, I'm hitting for uh, eagle. And uh, they add extra time for every shot you take, but look at that putt. Man, that's gonna be difficult. Eagle, come on, I need this so bad. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, I know, I mean, like, that's gonna be fine. We have finally sunk it before. Nice <laughs> but did we gain some time? Did we gain some time? That's what matters here. Uh, yeah, we did a lot. Like, we just jumped into the lead. Look at that. We beat him by almost 30 seconds. Or, almost 20 seconds. 30 seconds. Almost 30 seconds. That's going to help us out a lot uh, as we move into these last couple holes. So, that was huge. That was huge. Being able to outdrive him on that one is actually really important. This is not easy, though. Listen, I, I'm, I consider myself a fairly decent Mario Golf player. Um, and I can tell you right now with lots of certainty that this adventure mode is not as easy as I would have thought. I was expecting it to be much, much easier. Uh, so shame on me. Really shame on me. Because it's not easy. It's actually pretty darn difficult. Uh, and good on Nintendo, I think, for doing that. Ooh, this is, uh... Ooh, I think that's too much mustard. I think that's too much mustard on the shot. Dang it. And he took that. That's okay. We're both on the green in two... No, I'm not on the green. He is, though. Dang it. But this might be an okay chip. I don't know if he's like screwing up on purpose so that I have a chance, but uh, we took one less shot than he did. He got a bogey, so we're probably going to pick up even more time on this hole, is what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we picked up another almost 30 seconds. So I'm feeling pretty okay now. I was nervous to start, uh, but now I'm feeling much better about things. <laughs> Uh, we got some wind with us a little bit to the northeast, so I put a little bit of backspin on that baby. And we'll see if that will help us out here. Okay. Just want to shout out that you're going to be able to enjoy some videos from the Lockpoint coming up soon. He's also playing Mario Golf. Uh, Super Rush. He's doing Adventure Mode. Ooh, that's going to be too much. Uh, he's also enjoying Mario Golf Super Rush Adventure Mode, and uh, we'll have some of his own um, Let's Play videos, so be ready for that. Alright, please sink this putt. There it is. Our putting has become much better. So I'm much more confident in our ability to to win this round now. Ready? Okay, folks, I am going to turn up the volume on this one and allow you guys just to watch uh, watch me play. So as you can see from these scores, it's much more important to finish the round in as few Ready? strokes. It's just as important, sorry, to finish the round in as few strokes as possible as it is to 
finish the round uh, as quickly as possible. Because if you're taking six strokes compared to my four, you're getting an extra 30... Okay, so we won that with lots of time to spare, lots of water to spare, lots of everything. And that'll do it for this episode of Mario Golf Super Rush on Nintendo Switch, guys. We'll be doing more Balmy Dunes coming up soon, so be sure to check that out. But until next time, everyone, hit the links, and we'll talk again real soon. Bye, everyone. Huh.